gonna kind of go into a little bit more detail for you on how to do this in the most efficient way possible. It's right around at this stage where people start to get a little careless because they're fatiguing and they're excited that the project's almost done. So you can get a little careless. You want to keep that focus all the way to the end. got a little bit too much bend in it. I won't use those if I don't have to. <coughs> These come sometimes a little bent. I don't use bent felts in this one. They're really, really, really long. So, Okay, big ones. I'm gonna put them back here. Okay, now one of the things I've found is that the neuromuscular skills that you utilize are so exacting that a lot of times it will go better if you do the exact same operation over and over and over again without moving to step two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do these one after the other and not do those at this round. And I'm finding that works a little better. So it's kind of like if you were on a assembly line at a um, automobile thing and you grab a paper towel with water on it because I may need it. If I need it, I'm going to need it right there. Okay. you'll find that your key sticks are not in uniform condition. The ones in the center two octaves will be worn the worst. Always, and of course, if you think about it, that makes sense, because those notes get played the most. And, uh, I had a guest come over today and they saw me do this and they're like, you gotta be kidding me. So yeah. But you know, this is kind of what piano work is all about. It's just a lot of very exacting work. Like sewing or you know, uh, mechanical work on transmissions, engines. This is different because you're dealing with wood and felt. And those are, you know, natural man-made materials.
I don't like the look of that one. Can't really say why. I just didn't like the look of it. But at this stage, it is not a big deal. Just to come back in. Get it with a little bit more glue. down deep into the hole. These are a little wider than the hole. I could have cut them down, but I don't have a problem with that. Like that. So I'm going to keep on doing the same task. And I found after having done these many times that it's just easier for me to keep on doing the exact same operation. It's a little piece of wood in there. I save those because I can use them if I have to glue and rebuild the wood in here. You need wood to do that. Little teeny pieces of wood. Nice. We're going to come here, come here, here. It's not really a big deal if it falls down like that, if I'm not getting dirty or anything. If it happens. It's just not a big deal. I'm just gonna do this and this, come in here, shove it into position. They are positioned with the screwdriver. They're kind of where I want them. Pushed into position pretty hard. Extra glue, glue scraped off. Oop. Well, things can go wrong. Just start over again if you don't like the way something looks. Start over again. 